Hello and welcome back to Lamb School Noticings. I'm Mary Fran Matson, professor and head of the Brian Lamb School of Communication and your host for Lamb School Noticings. Our most outstanding undergraduate students, Megan Finucane, was a member of this year's Homecoming Court. Megan is a senior in public relations and strategic communication with a focus in marketing. Over the past two weeks, Purdue students had the opportunity to vote on Boiler Link for their student peers in the Homecoming Court election. Megan is very involved in the Lamb School. She currently serves as president of the Public Relations Student Society of America. PRSSA, is a member of the Lambda Pi Eta Honor Society, and works for clients on behalf of Boiler Communication. Megan also is actively involved as a host with Purdue Rising Professionals, is a sister in the Delta Gamma Sorority, and is a member of the Purdue Foundation Student Board. Megan, we are so proud of your poise and appreciate all the hard work that you do. Congratulations again. Next up, Critical work is being done by the Purdue Peace Project in Liberia. The Purdue Peace Project, or PPP, is a locally led peace building initiative based in the College of Liberal Arts and directed by Lamb School Associate Professor Stacy Connaughton. PPP engages local citizens in fragile states to help them design and implement strategies to prevent political violence in their communities. Currently, PPP is working with motorcycle taxi drivers, police, youth, market women, and others to help ensure that the 2017 presidential election on October 10th is peaceful. These Liberian elections are important because they are the first presidential elections since the Liberian civil strife. As the United Nations begins giving more control back to the Liberian government, there is risk of political violence and unfair election procedures. The PPP team, which includes graduate and undergraduate students from the Lamb School and the College of Liberal Arts, will continue to work with Liberian citizens post-election to monitor and evaluate the results of the violence prevention work. And finally, a grand achievement for one of our most beneficial resources. The C-SPAN archives record, index, and archive all C-SPAN programming for historical, educational, and research purposes. And this year, the archives housed adjacent to Purdue University turned 30. Every C-SPAN program aired since 1987, totaling over 234,000 hours, is contained in the C-SPAN archives and immediately accessible through the database and electronic archival systems developed and maintained by the C-SPAN archives. Dr. Robert Browning, director of the C-SPAN archives and professor of communication and political science, was recently featured in an article by The Hill to discuss the 30th anniversary of the archives. Although much has changed since the early days of C-SPAN library, such as the digital launch of the archives, Browning notes that its importance in the American political climate remains essential. We'll celebrate the 30th anniversary of the C-SPAN archives and talk about the impact of the archives with Brian Lamb facilitating a discussion with two former members of Congress. Join us on October 12th at 6.30 p.m. in the Cranert Auditorium for this discussion. Well, that wraps up another episode of Lamb School Noticings. Be sure to check back after October break for our next all-new episode. In the meantime, make sure to send your updates to me at mmatson at purdue.edu and stay in touch via our social media. Thanks for watching, take special care, and see you next time.